Tonight's top EU stories from the unit website include Google offers new concessions to avoid fine in EU antitrust case. European Union roaming charges are to go by July 2016. EU makes LIBOR rigging punishable with fines and bans. European Union lawyers say transaction tax plan is illegal. Plus, EU must hand back powers to nation states if it is to reverse the tide of scepticism. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. First, from our homepage, Google has offered further concessions aimed at ending a three-year investigation into complaints it was blocking competitors to avert a possible $5 billion fine, the European Commission said on Monday. The new proposal comes two months after the Commission, which is the European Union's antitrust regulator, asked the world's most popular search engine for more measures to soothe concerns that it was blocking competitors, including Microsoft, in web search results. Google is to the internet what Hoover became to the vacuum cleaner market, ubiquitous. Its company motto is, we're not evil, but it's becoming increasingly difficult for Google to avoid becoming a totalitarian corporate dictatorship. Of course, when you look at it in that context, then this complaint from the EU strikes me as the pot calling the kettle black. After months of waiting, the EU finally announced the date when mobile phone roaming charges will be scrapped. There should be no extra charge on calls, texts or internet by July 2016. New rules brought in this July meant that customers of German phone providers cannot be asked to pay more than 24 cents a minute plus tax to make a call while visiting another EU country. And by July 2016, all extra costs should be a thing of the past. German news magazine Focus uncovered after gaining access to the EU draft bill. The document states how providers will be encouraged to ditch charges before this date. EU Commissioner for Digital Technology Neely Crows said, The end of roaming is near. Great news in particular for holidaymakers whose roaming mobiles sometimes run up bills of hundreds of pounds via their data bundles, etc. Companies found guilty of rigging market benchmarks like LIBOR could be fined the equivalent of 15% of their turnover under a European Union a law approved last Tuesday. The EU law approved by the European Parliament and due to come into force within two years revises market abuse rules to make rigging of benchmarks illegal. The market abuse rules are also extended to cover electronic trading such as high frequency trading criticised by some lawmakers for creating volatile markets. Last week I reported on the case notes of Lord James of Blackheath, in which he reported some $15 trillion from the US Federal Reserve that was sent through the wash via HSBC and the Royal Bank of Scotland into the banks of Europe, and the links between it and gold market price manipulation. Now if the EU can get that case to stick, then according to this 15% fining regime, it's going to be worth a minimum of $2.25 trillion. That ought to see the Greeks right until after Christmas. A plan to tax financial transactions in 11 European Union member states from 2014 is illegal, the bloc's lawyers have concluded, dealing what could be a final blow to the measures as proposed. The findings are not binding but will make it harder to introduce a measure backed by Germany and others to make banks pay governments about 35 billion euros a year after receiving taxpayer aid during the 2007 to 2009 financial crisis. The 14-page legal opinion will be put to the EU finance ministers who must decide whether to scrap the idea or choose a simpler levy such as the stamp duty Britain imposes on shares. 
Britain, the EU's largest financial centre, and several other states have opposed the transaction tax proposal. They refused to sign up to the plan, raising questions about how it would work with only some members participating. The EU must hand back powers to nation states if it is to reverse the tide of scepticism, the President of the European Parliament has said. Martin Schulz has said he would help strip the EU of certain powers and return them to member states, which Prime Minister David Cameron also supports. But he also wants to make it stronger in other areas. Cameron is planning to hold a referendum on Britain's EU membership if he is re-elected in 2015. Schultz, a German Social Democrat, said if it does take place, Britons would probably vote to stay in because of trading advantages it gives Britain and the inability of any one country to defend its interests all alone. Schultz did not divulge which powers would go back to the states or which should remain in EU control. Oh dear, this is like you say tomato and I say tomato. The President of the Parliament wants to hand powers back. The President of the Commission, more democracy, more integration. The Council wants fiscal integration and the Commission legal scribes say it's illegal. I tell you what, let's call the whole thing off. Today in our video library, in this video with our man ever ready at the Heidelberg, Mario Draghi announced that the ECB is to offer long-term loans to banks when necessary. Of course, he didn't say where the ECB was getting its money from. Deeply interesting timing for this announcement only hours after Angela Merkel won another term in office. I deeply suspect the German people will be disgusted with this proposal. Even today, many Germans remember the tragic consequences suffered by Germany during the mark printing days of the Weimar Republic, when hyperinflation saw the price of a loaf of bread rise from 14 million marks to 1 billion marks in 24 hours. <laughs> Mr. Draghi went on to say that the Greek debt is now apparently sustainable. Stone the crows, Mario. In what interspatial dimension do you find that? An, an increasing public debt, coupled with increasing unemployment, coupled with increasing poverty, an asset balance sheet up for auction at fire sale prices, and people burning your flag in the streets is sustainable. I can see I'm close to the wire on this one, but for the love of schnitzels, pizza and olives... Pull your head out of the oven. I'm Rick Timmis, reporting for the Unit Nightly News. I'll see you soon.